Hello and welcome back to Model S Mindset. This is for all those beginners out there who are looking to make a comp card at home for free using canva.com. Of course, you are going to have to pay to print these either at home, paying for paper or for ink, or you can go into a print shop. You can try FedEx, or even if you want to Google print shop acting headshots, they're used to printing high quality photos with text for actors, so they'll easily be able to do this for you. And this is what it should come out looking like. This is the same thing an agency would provide for you if you signed with them and did not have a portfolio yet. The first few castings you go to, they are going to take your digitals, throw them on a page like this with your information and send you out to casting. So please do not feel like this is unprofessional or that it makes you look too new or too green. It absolutely does not. You are new. There is nothing wrong with that. And so we are showcasing your digitals to get you books so you can build a portfolio. So you're going to go to canva.com. You're going to come over here to the right and hit create a design, this big purple button, and find A4 document. That's just the size of a basic piece of paper, and it'll open up a file for you. We're going to start by making sure you have those photos. You need a full body, a 3-4 shot, a head shot, and a profile shot. I do my profiles in a headshot frame, but you could do your profile in a full body frame if you wanted. Then you're going to include your name, either your legal name, stage name, or doing business as. Doing business as requires you to file forms and fees, so you absolutely would know if you have that. And stage name is something you make up out of thin air. A lot of actors and models will make up a stage name in order to have some type of privacy and keep a little bit of safety, so that way nobody can Google them and figure out their legal name. And also sometimes when there are multiple models at the agency with the same name, they will start going by different stage names or some will add their last name or their middle name to their card to make sure nobody gets confused when they're trying to book you. So go with whatever name makes you happy, but just make sure that if you are using a stage name, you use your legal name when signing contracts or checks. The third thing you're going to need is your measurements. They're going to be in either inches or centimeters based on your market. Add your bust, waist, and hip sizes. If you want me to make a video on measurements, comment below and I can get on that. And you are going to add your height, your hair color, your eye color, your shoe size, and if you have extra space or want to add, you can add your jean size or dress size. For contact information, you want to make sure that you have your current email and phone number. Double, triple check that these are correctly spelled. This is very important that they can contact you and tell you they loved you and want to book you. And again, if you have extra space or maybe you are very active on social media, you can add those social media handles. Now, you're going to just start with that document you opened, the A4, and we're going to come over here onto the side and we're going to hit Elements. We're going to then scroll down to the bottom and go to grids, hit see all, and then you're going to scroll until you find the 4x4. Four four. That's going to take up the entire page, and if you want to do it that way, you absolutely can, and then add the information on the back. I do suggest that you print that information on the back or write it on a sticker and stick it on. Don't actually write on the back of the photo because you could end up writing through the photo, creating weird textures in your body and your face and messing up your photos. So be careful if you're writing on the back. That doesn't typically go well. So we're typically, not always, do whatever makes you happy, going to size it down so we can put that text on the front if you are putting it on the front. So you would size it down and move it around so that way you could add the text at the bottom or at the top. Let me make this a little bit smaller. Okay, so now you can see. So we would size it down from the corners and then move it around to be able to add that text. So when adding the photos, you're gonna go over here and hit uploads on the side and you'll have your digitals and then you just click them and then drag it into the photo or you just drag it from over there and drag it in and you move them around however you want them and you can switch it up. And then the most important thing, sorry, don't cut off your head. So you're gonna drag that down to make sure you've got a little bit of space. You're gonna double click any photo you wanna move like that. And you don't need a giant amount of space like that. No, no. And we don't wanna cut off your head like this. No, no. But this one, we bring it down just a little bit. You see there's just a little bit of space above my head. This is too much space and this is definitely not enough space because we're cutting off my head. 
And I can even make myself a little bit bigger so you drag on those corners to change the ratio and then again readjust so we've got just a little bit of space. That's not enough. Just a little bit of space above my head. You don't want to cut it off. And when it comes to that full body photo, you see I had to readjust it. Instead of using it like a normal size like this, it didn't fit. So I took a sizing thing and gave it like a basic background so when it fit in there, then I go in here, resize it very carefully. And we wanna make sure we don't cut off the head or the feet. And you see, I'm just barely, I could probably add a little bit more room in front of that foot, but you do not wanna cut off your feet and you do not wanna cut off your head. If I made it just a little bit bigger, you see my head is good, but now my feet have been cut off at the bottom. That's not good. We don't want to cut off your body. So make sure, even if it's tedious and it takes a lot of time, and you end up moving the damn box, just take your time and make sure it all fits. But I did this already, so I wouldn't have to waste your time. So here's four of them now. We got the full body. We got the three-fourth. We got the headshot. We got the profile shot. Now let's add some text. So we would resize that four thing, click on the whole thing, move it from the corner to the size you need. And then we would add our text. I put my name, I put my measurements, and I put my contacts. And you could have them at the bottom, or you could put them at the, just the name at the top, and I put the measurements and the contact at the bottom. Or you could put them on the sides. I kind of like this. It's, it's a little bit clunky, but I like that I had more space, and I was able to add jean size and put more spaces in between everything. Whereas here, like, it's kind of squished and I'm abbreviating hair and the color and I and the color. So if you really need more space, instead of making the text so small that it's hard to read, you see I've got a 24 size here. Here, I still have 24, but I'm able to fit so much more. So I kind of like this. I have seen it done a few times, but most often I typically see it like this with the name at the top and the measurement and stuff at the bottom. But this is absolutely acceptable as well. Like we talked about, you could put all the information on the back if you know how to or would prefer to do that. And you could even get fun with it. And I did this little picture. It's the same four grid we were using up above, but I made a picture with my measurements in both United States and European. And I forgot to put the phone number. You would have the phone number there. But we got name, we got measurements, and we got contact. And then we have three photos. So you would be missing one photo so if you only had three photos and you weren't doing like maybe your profile you see is missing here, it's not the end of the world. This could still be acceptable. And I had a little fun with my colors. Be careful if you're using colors. You want to make sure they are readable. Not everybody can see as great as you can. So think about that if you're using like neon colors or any like really pale colors. Those tend to be harder to read. Try and go with dark colors or just go with black and keep it very simple and easy for everybody to read. But by now you should know how to make this for free. So then you go over here and you hit the share button. You're going to go down to download. You're not going to have multiple pages like me. You would just have one. So if we just picked the one, then you would come up here and you would pick either PDF standard, PDF print, or you could even do a JPEG, or if you wanna be fancy, a PNG, that's just a more complicated JPEG, and then you would download that and either print it from your printer or go send it somewhere to have it printed, and that would be it, and you're ready to go. So comment below if you have any questions on this or on anything else in modeling, and I'll see you next week.